So welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry it took me half a minute to get your reading done. Um, my daughter was sick and um, I just, I had my hands full with so many things. And, and again, I'm sorry, but here we are now. So we're going to dig deep into your energy. So this reading is for anybody with a Cancer placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into it. I'm going to pull three messages, Cancer. The first one you uh, cho choose is going to be your strongest message, your second, your second, your third, your third. But you are meant to hear all three messages. Don't forget to hit the like button and um, subscribe. Hitting the notification bell will get you notified of future readings. I'm also doing the Shacy Prism Tarot giveaway. So for those of you that haven't got in on it, that want to get in on it, uh, feel free to do so. It's absolutely free. It's just my way of giving back to you and saying thank you so much for supporting the channel. This is what they look like for those of you that are brand new. Uh, this I designed with transformation in mind here. Okay, so there are very self-explanatory messages on the cards. I will ship to you absolutely free. Again, it's just my way of giving back and saying thank you for continuing to support the channel. All you need to do to get in on it is hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below so I know who you are. If you don't do that, I won't know who you are. If you've already entered, please don't worry about entering again. You will see them in action shortly. I will use them. I will pull the lucky winner's name at the end of this month, okay? All right, let's get into it. Oh, one more announcement. Uh, for those of you that joined the Shacy Spiritual Warrior membership family on YouTube, that is changing as of May 31st. I will be shutting that down. It will be now on Vimeo by subscription membership service only. All that information is down below in the description area as well as the comment section. Okay, so just a heads up. All right, so let's go ahead. One, two, and three. Let's pull the messages. So there will be a part two. I will get into that shortly. Somebody is definitely feeling like they are trapped in fear. There's so much going on. Somebody's kind of, you know, overanalyzing things. This is called analysis paralysis, overthinking, feeling stuck, bound, tied to a person, place, or thing. It's basically imaginary fear. Spirit is saying that you can break free anytime you want and feel free to flip these energies. If this isn't your energy, I could be picking up anybody's energy that's affecting your energy, okay? So keep that in mind. It can be... Um, you know, a love interest, it can be an ex, it can be a current partner, it could be a family member, it could be a child, it could be a co-worker, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be different for each one of you. Again, it's a general reading. Okay, so remember that. Somebody is overthinking things here. Okay, worrying about things that, you know, it's kind of like spirit is saying you have the power to, to make change if you want to, but somebody's feeling like they can't, like they can't do anything. Okay. Next message, Ooh, we have the crown chakra. So somebody's definitely needing to or is working on themselves. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read for you what exactly the crown chakra is when you're in balance and when you're out of balance, okay? Because the crown chakra is, is very important. It's, it's the top of the head. And what that represents is being enlightened, um, going towards your calling, if you like, okay? Realizing what, who, or where you're meant or who you're meant to be with, okay? So somebody's like feeling a blockage there okay so either they're realizing what they should be doing or where they should be going but they feel like they can't go there or they can't do it is what i'm getting so when somebody's in balance from that they're kind of detached uh, they, they allow themselves to feel stuck it's, it's kind of like they're not really trusting their higher calling they're not trusting um, their higher source they're not trusting in the universe so you know, spirit is saying, you know, this is an imbalance here. Somebody's closed minded. They're not opening up to what the possibilities are in their life. Okay. Instead, they're, they're trapped in fear. They're not listening to their higher calling. They're allowing themselves to feel trapped, bound, tied in a situation that they feel they can't get out of. And spirit saying that's simply not true. What's happening is you're closing your mind off to what or who or where you're meant to go. Um, or be with etc okay somebody definitely feels this intense passion towards creating something in, new in their life they want to go towards something new create you know maybe a new business opportunity uh, get into a new business get into a new job create a new relationship do something exciting this is about a new beginning and it's kind of like there's a passion ignited within you or within this person that you're dealing with and it's dying to get out. There's this higher calling that's calling you to go forward. But somebody's saying, oh, I can't, but I just can't, I just can't. 
and spirit somebody is definitely saying spirit is saying somebody's closing themselves off to the possibilities of their life allowing themselves to be trapped in fear um, when they needn't be okay so it's a blockage and this is you know either something that you or they are working on or this is something that you or they are needing to work on remember to, you can feel free to flip those energies uh, don't forget to check your other placements if you don't know what they are i forgot to mention go to astrosofa.com it's absolutely free so in part two we're going to dig into may and i'm also going to get the outcome for the next six months using the after tarot and messages from whoever you might be dealing with now or coming towards in the future so let's go ahead we're going to use a double decker vintage deck this is from the 1960s and the 1970s it's the zolar deck let's see what's going on cancer for you for the month of May, we're going to start with the month of May because we're almost there. Yeah, somebody's heartbroken. You see, they're living in fear. They can't. There's the Ace of Wands again. So it's kind of like I'm heartbroken. I feel like I can't start this new beginning. Uh, it can be that there is a blockage there. Something is breaking someone's heart. They're they're just they're trapped in worry, fear, perhaps regret. Just they don't know what to do they're they're closing themselves off okay so they're gonna have a tower moment you or the person you're dealing with again feel free to flip the energies could be a scorpio leo sagittarius or aries libra aquarius gemini this is you know whatever hasn't been working that's caused somebody to be trapped there's going to be something that initiates a change that allows for a new beginning because when you're trapped like this in fear you can only stay in this energy for so long before a spirit says it's time for a change okay somebody is going to have something quite intense happening in their life that they're not expecting this is some, something unexpected is going to change it can just mean that somebody's allowed themselves to stay so long in this energy that they absolutely burst and they become unraveled and it creates this new beginning it's a shame that it has to get to that point but that's kind of what i'm seeing okay wow we have the page of cups so somebody may be wanting to apologize to you or reach out to you or message you or you know come into contact with you somehow this can be a child of yours or it can be somebody that um is very passionate about you that wants to reach out to you maybe they want to apologize because they've been in fear they've been stuck in their own mind of what to do could be dealing with a king of swords somebody who's been silent for a long time somebody's been doing a lot of thinking okay this is somebody that basically i want to say with the king of swords and the nine of cups here i mean they basically cut their own wish out this can also represent that they might speak the truth here this could be somebody who's you know has a drinking problem it's not going to be for all of you but it's definitely a message i'm getting okay they may have been so trapped and so scared and so worried about making these changes um, that you know they, they started dipping in the drink but this is somebody that wants to take the action i feel like this person is really regretting maybe being in and out of your life they're regretting a lot of the things they said a lot of the things they did okay there may have been a shake up between the two of you you may want to apologize for that as well okay this may have been somebody who've been very defensive um they've been thinking about the future a lot things that they said things that they did and oh wow did they want to make things change right now right here i mean ace of wands twice now the ace of pentacles they want to offer you something long term but it's the beginning stages this is the beginning of a relationship that they want with you that you know they're realizing now is full of passion and intensity and they feel like you know they they want to offer you something something tangible um reach out bring you a gift apologize make things right here um, because they feel like their ships have not been coming in things since the tower has dropped between the two of you is what i'm getting they want to come in and they want to take you out and make things right they want to flirt with you they want to have a good time with you they want to spend time with you uh, they want things to change okay they want to speak their truth we have the king of swords now the ace of swords uh, they've gained the clarity here about what your connection means to them is what i'm getting okay this is somebody that just you know they weren't ready they just um they allowed themselves to overthink too much okay again could be dealing with a scorpio but i feel like your person definitely has gone through some kind of a transformation here this means death and transformation this means one door closes a new door opens so it took this tower to drop on them <laughs> 
for them to realize I feel what kind of a connection it was with you and I feel like it made them realize that perhaps you know they were in and out of your life and um, basically things ended something happened it could be that they disappointed you um, they allowed themselves to kind of just be silent and cut, cut things off not talk to you for some of you, this person has gone through a divorce with the Tower and the King of Swords, okay? Or you have divorced this person, vice versa. Uh, it doesn't have to be a divorce, but it can definitely be a separation with the King of Swords. Maybe they cut you out of their life or vice versa um, because there was blockages, because they were worried about moving forward, because they didn't know how to move forward. Let's clarify the death energy, please, for cancer. Yeah, wow. They want to balance things out. They want to make things fair. They've been trapped in something that they felt that they couldn't get out of. But again, there's going to be a tower that changes everything. Okay, it's it's basically it's a reset button. And it creates a new beginning. So either they're ending something where they are or something in between the two of you. And it took that for them to realize. And now they want to come back and balance things out. Either way, you have a new beginning with this person if you want it. They are going to approach you somehow, either via message, internet or in person. Um because you have lit a passion in them that they can't forget okay and they want to make things right they know that this has been disappointing and it's been very difficult but they weren't sure what direction to go okay you see the moon in the background with the blindfold they feel like they really just didn't know what to do okay and that's what i was saying they weren't sure whether to go left they weren't sure whether to go right and you felt you know that too many things were hidden perhaps this person was indecisive and they just they came in and out of your life this is definitely somebody that likes to throw themselves into their work okay they weren't sure what to do so they just decided to just work 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 and ignore um what was going on okay i feel like this person became silent and very distant in your life they came and they went mm-hmm and you know this may have left you feeling high and dry like they just they weren't into your connection they made you feel a sense of loss like what's going on here you didn't understand it this can also be vice versa it can be both of you all right they may feel like you get a lot of attention Maybe you're in the limelight or you're just moving forward successfully. Maybe you're very successful in your business. I do have the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. They may see you as successfully working very hard on, you know, it could be a new job I'm getting or a new business. Either way, they see you as a very hard worker. Some of you could be promoted in the near future. Maybe you're working really hard because maybe you're financially strapped Spirit says, keep working because whatever you're doing, you will be successful, okay? Just keep putting the effort in. Spirit says, whatever challenges you're going through, whether it's financial, emotional, you will overcome, okay? Things are going to change. There is a transformation here. Things will start to balance out here with the justice energy here. There is something new coming in. It's going to be solid. Yeah, many of you have felt like this person has let you down, okay? Uh, but there is a new beginning again this can't be more clear the tower the ten of swords the death energy justice okay what goes down will come back up again there is a new start here okay there will be a reason to celebrate now this can be somebody that you were torn away from and you're going to come back together successfully here there's definitely a message coming in, something that's going to make you very happy. It's going to be a reason to celebrate. So either it's work-related here with the Eight of Pentacles and Six of Wands. You're going to overcome the obstacles if you've been going through financial loss or hardship, or this is somebody coming towards you, um, you know, that wants to reach out to you, wants to spend time with you. And we did see the Knight of Cups in pre-shuffle as well. So I feel like somebody wants to come in towards you and they want to set the record straight. They want to balance things out. They want to speak up. They want to talk to you about everything. And they want to spend time with you is what I'm getting. They've been waiting to move forward with you. Okay, definitely I'm getting that somebody's been saving money. Okay, it's kind of like... I've planted these seeds. I've been watching it grow and I've been waiting for things to change. And now things are going to change. Again, we've got the death energy and justice indicated here that there is a new beginning. Okay. 
So whatever seeds were planted, that's why Spirit's saying seven to the eight of pentacles, keep going. Because, you know, with the six of wands, you're definitely going to overcome any challenges, whether it's financial, emotional, or both here. You definitely have some incoming news. Uh, again, something that's going to make you very happy. Either somebody's traveling towards you or you're traveling towards them, but this is definitely about communication, forward movement. There's growth here. Somebody wants growth with you is what I'm feeling. There has been a lot of... Um, challenges surrounding your connection here again whether financial or personal these are challenges that will be overcome because we've got the six of wands here i feel like this if this person is coming in towards you wanting to take you out again this may not have happened for some of you for some of you it may already have happened you're all on your timelines at different times remember it's a general read um they're going to let you know and communicate to you that they had to wait because there were challenges because there may have been others around your connection that were jealous or just starting arguments, okay? There may have been somebody here in your life or their life that felt like they were betrayed or let down um, because, and again, this could be your energy or theirs or somebody they're dealing with. Anybody affecting your energy can and will show up here, okay? So... Anybody you're dealing with, if they're dealing with somebody else and it's affecting their energy, it's going to be like a domino effect. So what's happening here is the challenges that have happened have caused some kind of letdown here to the point where, you know, it has ended a situation, but it needed to end because when you have the Ten of Swords, you have the death energy, we have the tower, we have justice. These are major arcanas. That spirit saying, again, you know, it's time to... Um, Open your mind and your heart to what your obstacles are to get through them because somebody's allowing themselves to stay in a situation that hasn't been happy for a long time. We've got the Eight of Swords to the Ten of Swords. Okay, so that means that this cycle has run its course. This relationship, this tower, this home, this business, something has has ended and, and was meant to end because it has outgrown um, its roots kind of thing. It's done. And somebody has allowed themselves to stay trapped in that situation for a long time for fear of change, possibly. Um, but I also feel like it's the fear of the unknown with the moon there. I don't know what's going to happen if I make this decision. So if I just sit here and I don't make a decision at all, then, you know, I don't I don't have to worry. But what happens is the universe brings in the tower and says, no, there's going to be an argument of all arguments that will maybe finish things off here. I will set off that tower in motion. Somebody may blurt something out, say, I'm not happy here, or, you know, I don't know what I want. And they just keep ignoring the fact that there is a definitely a decision or a choice to make here between two different paths, two different people, people, two different directions, two different jobs, something. There's a decision and a choice to make. And instead of making it, it's kind of like, I'll just throw myself into my work so I don't have to think about anything. Um, they've been waiting. They've been waiting perhaps for the right time. Um, but I also feel like this is somebody that was worried about suffering financial loss. We've got the five to the seven to the eight of pentacles, somebody who's been working super hard, could be on a new business here with the ace of wands as well. Okay. This can be that you've been working really hard or this person's been working really hard on creating a new business and it's taking time for it to make money, um, for it to be profitable before they could move forward and, you know, it's causing a lot of arguments maybe between you and them or whoever they're dealing with. Uh, Ten of Swords is like a really long-term relationship, business, um, something. I mean, this is painful. It's been it's been going on for too long. Spirit says it's time for change. Okay. Yes. Yeah, see, look, just as I said that, it's time to move on. It's time to leave the past behind. Rough waters right here. And we're going toward calmer waters. So this is a time to leave the past behind and move forward. Somebody may be traveling, okay? And it's interesting because we have the three of wands in reverse. So we've, we've been feeling like, you know, our ships are, haven't been coming in. You know, I've been waiting and it hasn't been happening. So what's happening here is with the three of wands in reverse... I'm tired of waiting. I'm fed up waiting. So somebody's tired of waiting, fed up of waiting. And what's happening is um, somebody feeling stuck and trapped. You know, imagine yourself being stuck and trapped in a cage. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of like I'm stuck in this cage and I don't know what to do. Well, you're, how long are you going to stay in that cage before you go crazy? I mean, seriously, 
I mean, I think I would go on a rampage if I was stuck for too long. I would have to break free. So that's what the tower is. It's, it's, it's the universe's way of allowing you to break free because you can't stay in this cage forever. And, you know, somebody is tired of waiting. And so what's happening is we're starting to perhaps fester um, a little bit more of our stress, getting more angry and frustrated. And, um, you know, it's like we've been waiting, we've been working, and this has been painful with the Ten of Swords. And now it's time to move on. And so the tower comes to clear that pathway, basically. So there will be an argument or something happens here that just allows somebody to finally break free because you can't stay in that cage for any length of time before you start to, to lose it, right? So let's go ahead and get a couple of love messages. This is my new deck. I absolutely love it. It's a vintage, vintage Rose Oracle deck. What are the messages for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2022. What are the messages they need to hear for the month of May? What do we need to know for Cancer? I have a strong Cancer placement too for those of you that are brand new. So let's dig in and see what the messages are. What are the messages for Cancer? It's important to check your other placements because I definitely, like uh, there's a side reel chart and there's a tropical chart as well. I don't you know, in the side real chart, I'm a Libra. So um, it's interesting listening to both messages. So you may want to check that out as well. If you have your side real chart, if you know what it is, check your tropical and check your side real chart. It's very interesting. Okay, so let's see. All right, we have desire. Woo, see, somebody desires you. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can't resist the attraction, desire and passion, hard to walk away. So this person may have tried to walk away from you or you them, but the desire is much too strong, okay? Um, your person here, again, feel free to flip those energies. If it's not you, it could be them, is going through this transformation, okay? And they don't know what to do. Their whole world is shaken up as they know it. And it's causing them to act out of character because they feel this intense passion and calling to you. And that's why Spirit says, like, they're trying to shut themselves off. They may have tried to walk away from your connection, but they can't. Okay, and it's because this is the direction they're meant to move in here. The Tower, the Ten of Swords, again, the Death Energy, Justice, that all comes in because it's time for a change. A change that I feel your person has not been accepting of okay let's go ahead and get their energy on the other deck i do feel like this is all of their energy i'm not seeing yours uh, but we did see the queen of cups in pre-shuffle and you are of this person's wish is what i'm seeing okay but let's see what's going on let's see what's going on you're going to receive some communication some kind of message here uh it's like a young sweet high school uh crush kind of energy here it's a desire um, that they have for you, but it's not only that we had the ace of pentacles as well in pre-shuffle. So they definitely want to bring something tangible. Okay. You could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo, or they are clarify the queen of pentacles. Okay. So we have a choice. Look at that. There's the ace of pentacles again. Wow. So this is, I have a decision to make. Okay. This is a deep spiritual connection. That's why, that's why they can't let you go. Okay, so they want to lock you down. They see you as marriage material and, it, and it's scaring them because it's, it's a big change that they're going through. This person may be used to being single or they're at a distance from you and they're kind of like fearing what could go wrong instead of what could go right. That could be. But there is a decision. When, whenever the, the lover's energy come up, again, another major arcana, there's a decision between two people or two different directions. So they may have had a choice between you and someone else or you and something else. Could be a job, could be a career, could be distance, could be many things. Um, but there is a decision to make. And, and with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, it leads me to believe that they, they see you as marriage material. They see that you are solid, um, that you are, you know, definitely somebody that um they want to be with and spend time with okay that's why the knight of cups they i feel like this person wants to take your relationship to the next level is what i'm getting yeah they want to make plans about the future there definitely could be distance here we've got the two of wands the three of wands in reverse this person is tired of waiting or they feel like you're tired of waiting they need to communicate here they are going to communicate at a page and a night level which means that it's the early stages of your relationship they want to spend time they want to have a good time with you 
I feel like they want your attention. They feel like they're not getting any of your attention is what I'm seeing. Clarify the two of wands. This person is financially stable. They're single, okay? They want to balance a connection. If your connection was not balanced before with the five of pentacles, I feel like they want to come towards you and offer you the pentacle, the five, the six of pentacles, six of pentacles. They want to balance things out with you. Okay, so they want to make things right. They're planning it. They're thinking about it. Um, we've got a lot of pentacle energy here. Okay, so it can be that they may have felt like they had to wait to save enough money or they are opening a new business or have opened a business or maybe they waited to move up the ranks in their current position in order to maybe relocate that job or that position. Whatever the case may be, money, finances are definitely an issue here. But now it, they're coming out as financially independent and successful and able, able to offer you something long term. Whereas I feel that their fear was perhaps before that um, they were stuck. Maybe they were trapped in another job and they're getting out of that job and they created a new business or a new job. Or they had to wait to get a job at a distance that's closer to you. If you're at a distance, that could be as well. Okay, so maybe this is them receiving the news that they um, received clarification of a job that's closer to you or a position that was relocated from their current job and they are being relocated to you. If, the, if, you know, if there's another branch, another city, another state, province, country, whatever, it can be that they've received the news that they can move forward towards you and take that position that allows them to move closer to you. And it can be that their family's really upset about that. It can be that as well. But look at that. They love you. They see your connection as a blessing. You have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. You have three aces. Okay, so some of you may be seeing one, one, one. Incredible. This is beautiful. All right. They definitely have love for you with that Ace of Ace of Cups is, you know, the universe is saying here, you know, this is this is for you. Um, I feel like they want to bring you their cup. We had the we had the Knight of Cups on pre-shuffle. We've got the Ace of Cups here. We've got the Five to the Six of Pentacles. They're making progress towards you to make this offer, to even up or balance this connection. Justice is here. So they've gone through this transformation. They've gone through some changes here. Okay. So I feel like, you know, you can expect some kind of communication here, but let's get the mutual energy. So again, this is a Shacy Prism Tarot deck. Just hit the like button, notification bell. Comment down below. Let me know you're interested. I will make the announcement at the end of this month, April, uh, to who the lucky winner is. So let's see what's going on. What are the mutual energies between you and them? What do we need to know? So part two, again, is down below in the comment section, description area. You can choose to join the Chasey Spiritual Warrior membership family through Vimeo, or you can choose to purchase individually, upper right-hand corner at the end of this reading. It'll say part two. Watch now. Um, so there's all the different options there for you that you've asked for. They're all there. Okay. So there, look at that. There's your energy right there, Cancer. This is the chariot. You both feel like you are each other's rightful path or you will feel that way. But this is also interesting enough. Six of swords, eight of wands, the chariot. This is about moving forward, traveling, relocation. Okay. Successfully moving forward. Mm -hmm. And you both want growth in this connection. You both see that you can have growth in this connection. They feel, again, like you are, you hold their heart. Okay, I feel like they're making the decision to make plans with you for the future. I feel like if they were indecisive before, they're not now. And Spirit is saying, you know, if you're really, really worried about this connection coming in for you, don't be afraid to ask your angels for guidance and assistance. They're always listening. It's also about being patient. Timing is everything, okay? Because you've both been going through periods of, I feel, stress, stress and depression. Because this painful cycle, though, you must know is ending, okay? Spirit is saying you will be able to move forward and you will be able to feel more at peace. There is some kind of communication coming forward that's going to make you very happy, Cancer. That's what I'm seeing. But let's start digging into part two. I'm going to confirm. I'm going to clarify the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and I want to clarify the Six of Swords 
and the eight of wands. So I'm going to move them forward. We're going to get the outcome with the after tarot for the next six months. We're going to get messages from your person, what they would like to say to you. And if I get a chance, I'll pull some tarot charms as well. We are just going to dig. Okay. So cancer, if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me on part two, I will be right there. Stay happy, healthy, and safe and namaste.